artist friends, are you ready to draw something great? We're gonna draw out another animal from the Amazon, and this time we're gonna draw a chameleon. Now, I want, I want to tell you something. When I was young, I used to think that if I couldn't draw an animal out of my head, then I wasn't a very good artist. But as I grew older and studied other artists and have been teaching art for 20 years, I've realized that all artists look at things for a reference. So today I'm looking at a book called Chameleon Chameleon that I got from my school library. And I love this picture right here about this chameleon. This is a really fun book to read to learn a little bit more about chameleons and why they change colors and what they eat and how they eat. So if you want to check it out at the library, it'd be really fun and then you could do this project. So he's pretty, he's pretty easy. I think you'll have a great time. I even did this one with some of my special needs artists and they were awesome at it. So let's start. You can draw with anything you want. I'm going to draw with a marker. You can draw with a crayon or a pencil or a marker. And just remember if you need to pause and slow me down a bit, because I know I can talk fast, just push the space bar or pause it on the iPad and then keep on going. Okay, are you ready to draw? Let's do it. All right, so for our chameleon, we are going to start. I'm going to hold the book because I like to look while I'm drawing. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start with his eyeball, okay? I'm going to put my eyeball right here, and I'm going to draw a big circle and a little circle right there, okay? Now, when you get a look up close at these chameleons, they're so interesting, and they have so much texture. So on his eyeball, there's like rings, so we're going to draw a couple more circles. So I'm just going to draw a few circles, as many as you can fit in. I think... That's probably as many as I want to draw. Okay, now we're going to draw the top of his head. And this is kind of fun. It comes, uh, we're going to draw a curve around the eyeball and then come out. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there because this next part is a little tricky, but it works out. Okay, and then you need to come back up like that. And it's just part of his nose that I'll show you in a second. Okay, now I love his mouth. He looks a little bit grumpy, but it kind of cracks me up. So we're going to come right from this part and we're just gonna draw a line like this and just draw a little bit down, okay? Now let's draw a line just like that, just nice and thin next to this one. And we'll stop right there, okay? Now chameleons and, and a lot of lizards, sometimes they have this almost like a beard underneath. So that's what we're gonna draw next. And it looks like a rounded triangle. We're just gonna go like this, down and back up, just like that. Okay, now, we're going to draw this little part on the top of his head. It's just a curve, so stay with me. We're going to start right here where we did before, and I'm just going to go curve around. And it's just these little, it's just this little part of, the, of these chameleons, and I'm going to draw another line just like that. Okay. All right, now let's draw his back. We're going to start right here, and we're going to curve... Okay, and then as you get closer to the side of paper, come in, and now here's the fun part. Are you ready? We're going to come down, and we're going to go around and around and stop. Their tails do this great curl thing when they're holding still. Um, when they're walking, they kind of have it out to balance, but as they're sitting, it curls up. Okay, so we've got that part right there. All right, now let's get the arms. The arms and the legs need to come in before we draw the tummy because they're in front, especially the, the legs that are closest to us. Okay, so on the first arm, we're just going to do an L shape. I'm going to come down and out, and then another line right next to that, down and out. And then their hands are really easy. They're almost like a mitten. So I'm going to draw a small thumb and then a larger curve for the rest of the hand. And now we're going to do that exact same thing with his back leg. We're going to go down and out and a line right next to that, down and out, and then we'll draw that easy hand with a small curve for the thumb and a larger curve for the hand. All right, so we have our two front arms, and now we're gonna draw this other front arm right here, and it's gonna just come down like this. So two lines together, and we're gonna, again, we're gonna do that easy little thumb and a curve. Okay, now we get to connect his stomach and his chin. So I'm just going to come along here and I'm going to go underneath these front arms. You see how I drew that lower? I'm going underneath so that they're still in front and as I come to the tail I'm going to get skinnier and skinnier. So watch my line before you try it. I'm going to come like this and I'm going to follow this line and come in right there. Okay. 
I think I messed up. <laughs> you know what? That happens sometimes. Let's see what I did. I don't think I came around enough. Well, I'm going to leave it. So sometimes when you make a mistake, artists always make mistakes, and then you just say, how can I fix this? And I think when I color it in, it's going to be fine. So I'm just going to leave it. And that's a good lesson for everyone to learn. Okay, now we're going to come up here by his back, and I'm just going to draw another line, because his back's not quite that tall. It kind of has these awesome spikes, and I'm going to come until I get a smaller right there. Now I'm missing one leg, so let's just draw this other leg, and I'm going to draw it from underneath the tummy. And then I'm going to draw a little curve and a big curve. Okay, now it's time for some texture and some details. Now the best thing about these chameleons is all the texture. Um, the one in this book has some stripes. So I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to draw some wavy lines. I'm going to draw one line and then another one next to it. So that's one stripe. And then I'll give a little bit of space and I'll do that again. And you can choose to do this as much as you want through your chameleon. As you know, as they travel to branches and to leaves, and even when they see other chameleons, they change colors. So you can color your chameleon any color you want. All right, we also have some stripes down here on our tail, so I'll just keep going with these wavy lines, like this. And I'm getting smaller as I get to the tail, because the tail's smaller, so the stripes are smaller. Okay. All right, now they have these little tiny spikes, not necessarily like a dragon, but just little. So we're gonna do little tiny, little tiny triangles like this along this top ridge on their back. And really this is just, they try to make themselves look scary. Really other animals can eat them pretty easy. So they, that's why they have to blend in. Sometimes they have to puff out that chin and sometimes they like lift up their back so that their spikes look scary. And they're trying to say, don't eat me. I wouldn't taste good, you don't want me. All right, and let's add just a few of those little spikes along this awesome nose here. Okay, and then for texture, we're gonna draw circles. And you don't have to draw a ton, you could even take a marker. In fact, I think I'll do that. I'm gonna pick up one of my markers right here. I'm gonna pick up two colors, and then I'm just gonna draw some dots. And this will really give it some texture. So I'm just doing some round dots. And I think I'll do some red. And you can keep on going, and you can color your stripes, and you can add these little dots all over your chameleon to give him some texture. All right, now let's just put the branch that he's on, all right? He needs to be standing on something, right? Okay, so we've got a branch. We're gonna start over here, and I'm gonna go behind the chameleon and behind his feet because he's on the branch. So we're gonna go behind and across. And now let's follow that line. Let's do the same thing. I'm gonna bring this line up. And I want to make sure that all of my feet are on this branch. And then we're gonna do our special trick. Remember where we open up? This line's gonna come up and we're gonna draw a V. Right here, a sideways V. Okay, now all that's left is to add some leaves and you could add a butterfly, you can add some bugs. So the le eat leaves, remember our easy leaves, just down and up with a line and down and up with a line. Okay, and then remember the leaves from the toucan. If you've watched our toucan video, I showed you a couple other leaves. So you could do a fancier one that has a line and then just draw some V's like this. And then you could color each one of those a different color and it would be really colorful because that's what it is in the Amazon, really colorful leaves and things. Now I can also draw some leaves from the side coming in, really big ones if I want. And I'm going to draw that line down and that line down and maybe a few more up here and a few more down here. and then it's time to color in your chameleon. Okay, keep on drawing. Remember that you are a great artist. I hope you like this rainforest drawing and remember that you can go to the library and you can get books about toucans, tree frogs, chameleons, and you can see all the different colors and draw them again and again and again as you practice drawing. 
You are a great artist. I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel for weekly guided drawing updates and videos, and also tips and tricks for parents and educators so that you can help your youngest artist become a great artist. Also, follow Great Artist Mom on all social media. Thanks for watching. Bye.